Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is one of our latest refractors, the Eon uh, EDX2 85 millimeter uh, triplet APO refractor. So first of all, it's a triplet, a three lens system up front using uh, ED glass. But this isn't like some of our other ED refractors, which usually have one ED lens coupled with the, the correct uh, non-ED glass to give you very good color correction. This uses two ED lenses, one FPL 53, and the other FPL 51 coupled with the corresponding non-ED glass to give you exceptional color correction. This one has one of the best color correction in its class. And what that means is you've got very low chromatic aberration. So when you're looking at a planet or a star at very high power, uh, well, especially with a non-APO refractor, you're going to get a big halo of false color of blue or purple around the star. Uh, Apochromatics uh, have very little to none of that. And the, um, the triple lens in here has the absolute minimum uh, of chromatic aberration. So you get very tight stars, uh, especially if you're doing a very long exposure, uh, and there's some bright stars in the field of view. They're going to be nice and tight, no false color, no out-of-focus halos. Uh, and then visually as well, you can go push this thing to very high power and get a very high contrast, sharp image, uh, very true to color. It's 85 millimeter lens up front. Uh, that's f6.6. That's a, a, a 560 millimeter uh, focal length. So let's go a little bit deeper into some of the features, and I'll show you what comes with the telescope. So first of all, the lens up front, the, the 85 millimeter features a thread-on lens cover. And if I point it right there, you can probably see the lens itself. It's got a very nice uh, anti-reflective coating on it, so you, it yields a very uh, bright image with uh, very little light scatter. There's baffles on the inside, so the light's coming all the way down to your camera and not bouncing along on the way, reducing the contrast or uh, giving you flares off axis. On the back, let me rotate this back up here. This is my favorite part. This is the, uh, the focuser end. Uh, it's a rotatable focuser, so if I loosen right here, I can rotate the focuser around so the uh, focus knobs are in whatever orientation I want, and then your camera attaches back here, or your eyepiece, obviously. So once you find the right orientation, you lock it down. It's a dual-speed focuser here, featuring the course adjustment, and then down on the bottom here, a 10 to 1 uh, reduction gear, so you can get very fine focus control. It's a two-inch focuser on the back with compression lock, so you loosen it here, and there's a brass compression ring that grabs around your camera adapter or your two-inch eyepiece adapter or diagonal uh, or the two-to-one-and-a-quarter adapter. It grabs it very tightly, holds it very securely, and keeps it centered, so it's a nice, uh, uh, solid fit. Uh, so again, two inches, comes with the reduction down to one-and-a-quarter. The focuser itself, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, you can see rack and pinion gears. This is a hybrid focuser. It kind of does the best of both worlds of a Crayford and a rack and pinion. Um, the gears are cut at a bias, so there's no backlash. And this style focuser holds a lot of weight. Uh, this thing can hold 17 and a half pounds of camera gear. And I really can't think of any camera that's going to weigh even close to that, even coupled with a filter wheel or off-axis guider or whatever else you're going to put back here. So uh, the bottom line is this thing can hold and focus smoothly any amount of camera gear that you're going to be putting on the back of this. The telescope comes with a set of machined rings and a dovetail bar. It's about an 8-inch dovetail bar, the Vixen-style narrow bar. Um, lens cap up front. The entire telescope weighs about nine and a quarter pounds, so this will fit on all sorts of different equatorial mounts. If you're going to be doing long exposure deep sky photography, I would recommend, um, well, this certainly would do it. The Sirius mount will hold up to 30 pounds, but you could even use the Skyview Pro one step down. Uh, that holds 20 pounds. Uh, so the telescope itself, nine, nine and a quarter pounds, coupled with your camera and gear, you're probably not going to be above 13, 14 pounds. So the Skyview Pro or higher uh, mount would work great for visual or for deep sky astrophotography. All right, well, there you have it, the 85 millimeter Eon EDX2 APO uh, triplet refractor. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.